Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Everything okay? Not bad. Okay, great. Happy to hear that. Okay, well, uh, we're going to start now. Okay, so um, just give me a moment. I'm going to share the screen with you. Let's begin. No, wait, 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 wait. Just give me a second. I forgot one thing here very quickly. Just a moment. Okay, here I go. Okay, there it is. Can everybody see the screen I'm sharing? Yes. yes. Excellent, thank you. Okay, um, first things first, we need to call the attendance list. So let me find it. I have a lot of um, windows open. Okay, when I call your name, please let me know that you're here. Ana Patricia Garcia Sanchez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Benjamin Alejandro. Dijo, me dijo que iba a andar afuera. Quiero ver, Benjamin, si lo vemos por acá conectado. Creo que todavía no. No lo veo. No. Ok. Brenda Adriana. Ya la vi, Brenda. Ok. Present. Ok. Thank you. César Alexander López. Present teacher. Thank you. Elisa Arely López. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Hugo Giovanni. Ya lo vi. Thank you. It is Janet. Iris Janet Martinez López. Irving Hiroki Kimura Fuentes. Hiroki. Janet Jacqueline Cárcamo. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Are you here? Jennifer Noemi Menjivar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Aias Lopez. Present. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, Jose Francisco Aguilar. Jose Francisco Aguilar. Karen Xiomara López. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Yasmin Nuila Delgado. Karina Yasmin Nuila Delgado. Luz Virginia Pérez de Calderón. Creo que a Luz le fallaba el micrófono, me pareció. Quiero ver si está... No la veo por ningún lado, creo que no. Ok. Melissa Guadalupe Méndez Abarca. Aunque la vi por ahí. ¿O no? Melissa Guadalupe Méndez Abarca. No. Ok. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Thank you. Pamela Lisbeth Flores Muñoz. Pamela Lisbeth Flores Muñoz. Roberto Carlos Cuellar Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Selma Yamilet Peña Flores. I am here. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús Cruz Navarrete. Teresa de Jesús Cruz Navarrete. Victoria Ingrid Leal de Contreras. Victoria okay. Ingrid. Okay. Thank okay. you. Great. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, tw
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Okay, we're going to begin. Let's do this. Uh, this is Inglés Pre Intermedio Modulo 1, and this is me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. It's Pre Intermediate 1, Session 9. It's not Session 9. Give me a second. This is not the right one. 11. 11th. Yeah, sorry. Que agarré la presentación desde el principio, desde aquí, ESPE. Okay, hoy sí. It's session 11, okay, and today is November the 23rd, uh, 2022, or 2022, whichever you prefer. So, um, let's begin. What do we have? We're going to have a review on object pronouns, okay? It's a review. So, remember that we have two types of pronouns here. There are subject pronouns, and there are object pronouns, okay? For people, right? The subject pronoun is I, and the object pronoun is me. Two people, right? Two or more people talking. The subject pronoun is we, the object pronoun is us. In this case, the subject pronoun is you, the object pronoun is also you. For a third person singular, we say he, for boys, that's the uh, subject pronoun, and him as the object pronoun. For ladies, we use she for the subject pronoun and her as the object pronoun. And when you're talking about several people, that is third person plural, you use they as the subject pronoun and them as the object pronoun. So how do we use the subjects and object pronouns? It's pretty easy. Look, we use the subject pronoun as the subject of a sentence. In other words, you use the subject pronouns before the verb. El subject pronoun va antes del verbo. I, no hay que olvidar eso. For example, I say, I know Sandra. We know Sandra. You know Sandra. He knows Sandra. She knows Sandra. They know Sandra. Okay, but what about the object pronouns? Object pronouns are used after the verb. Okay, los va a utilizar después de los verbos. Let's see this. I say, I know Sandra. Y Sandra me conoce a mí también. Entonces, Sandra knows me. No vamos a decir Sandra knows I, porque no se ocupa un subject pronoun después de un verbo. Se ocupa antes del verbo. I know Sandra. Sandra knows me. We know Sandra. Sandra knows us. You know Sandra. Sandra knows you. He knows Sandra. Sandra knows him. Sandra lo conoce a él. She knows Sandra. Sandra knows her. They know Sandra. Sandra knows them. Okay? Remember, the object pronoun goes after the verb, never before the verb. Okay? Hay ocasiones en que la gente me pregunta, mire, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Se dice you and I or you and me? Y... Ahí les digo yo, depende de dónde esté en la oración. Si está al principio y antes del verbo, sería you and I. Si está después del verbo, sería you and me. ¿Ok? Aunque no solamente se ocupa después de los verbos. Y eso es lo que vamos a ver en este momento. Ah, sorry. For things. The subject pronoun for singular objects is it. The object pronoun is also it. Like this lady. She's looking at it. It's nice. I like it. So the first one, it is nice. This is the subject pronoun it. And when she says, I like it, this is the object pronoun it. Okay? It comes after the verb. Now look at this man. He's looking at shoes. He says, in, in this case, right, uh, you use they and them. Recordemos que they y them no son exclusivos para personas. Se pueden utilizar también para objetos o cualquier cosa que no sea una persona. 
He says, they are nice. I like them. They is the subject pronoun. Them is the object pronoun that goes after the verb like. And you have some examples. I don't want this book. You can have it. Te lo puedes llevar o es tuyo, right? You can have it. I don't want these books. You can have them. Mm -hmm. Te los puedes quedar o te los puedes llevar. You can have them. Diane never drinks milk. She doesn't like it. Object pronoun, it. I never go to parties. I don't like them. Okay? Object pronouns. La clave está aquí, ¿verdad? They y them. They y them se ocupa para persona y para cosas también. Así que mucho cuidado, siempre que sea plural. Now, this is new. Esta parte sí es nueva. Esto es lo que no alcanzamos a ver ayer. Les dije que se utilizaban los object pronouns después de los verbos, pero también se ocupan después de prepositions. Tenemos un chat entry. Ejercicio 4.4. Ok, Brenda. Ejercicio 4.4. Lo, lo veremos más tardecito. De acuerdo, Brenda. Gracias. Ok. All right. So we use object pronouns after a preposition. For, to, with, etc. Pero antes de eso, ¿qué es una preposition? Esta explicación es un poco complicada porque hay muchas prepositions. Veamos lo que dice acá. A preposition is a word and almost always a very small very common word that shows direction. For example, a letter to you. Location, at the door. Time, by noon. Or that introduces an object, a basket of apples. Todas estas palabras, to, at, by, of, with, before, after, todas esas califican como prepositions. Prepositions are typically followed by an object, which can be a noun, for example, by noon, a noun phrase, at the door, or a pronoun, uh, to you, or for you, etc. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que sucede? You use object pronouns after a preposition. Se ocupan después de los verbos y después de las prepositions, como for, to, with, etc. And there are some examples here. You say, this letter isn't for me. It's for you. Este you es un object pronoun. Porque va después de una preposition. For es una preposition. Hay muchas prepositions. Lo que yo les recomendaría es que las fueran anotando. Por ejemplo, si ustedes tienen ahí su cuadernito, pongan prepositions. Van apareciendo, ¿verdad? For es una de ellas. To es otra. With, without, uh, at, by, uh, what else? Before, after, etc. Bueno, aquí van a ir saliendo más. Lo voy a dejar por acá. Etc. Next example. A lady says, who is that woman? Why are you looking at her? Okay, at is a preposition. So we use her. That's the object pronoun. Why are you looking at her? Next, we're going to the movies. Do you want to come with us? Mm -hmm. ¿Quieres venir con nosotros? With is a preposition. So we use us. Next, Sue and Kevin are going to the movies. Do you want to go with them? Them refers to Sue and Kevin. And the last one, where is the newspaper? You are sitting on it. Está sentado en él. Aquí hay otra, por cierto. On, in, <laughs> también, verdad? Todas esas son prepositions. On, in. Y como ya veo venir la pregunta, le voy a decir desde ya. 
Hay gente que me pregunta, teacher, ¿cómo vamos a saber cuándo vamos a ocupar on, cuándo vamos a ocupar in, cuándo vamos a ocupar at? Y les veo en la cara algunos que dicen, sí, eso tengo ganas de preguntarlo. Pero no hay una respuesta simple para eso. Tendríamos que dedicar varias clases enteras solo a ese tema. No es como, siga esta reglita, no. Son un montón de casos que hay que ver ahí. Así que si nos confundimos un poco con las propositions, déjenme decirles que es lo más normal del mundo y es una de las cosas que más cuestan en cualquier idioma. Hugo. Sí, una pregunta. Eh, lo que es este between, near, no está con estas cosas, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Between is a preposition. Between, near, near. Uh, what else? Between, there's near, there is... Uh, Next to. Next to. Lo que pasa es que next to. To es la preposición, de hecho, aquí. Ajá. La preposición es to. Como vemos acá. To. Next to. Sí. Eso creo que lo vieron ustedes en Principiante 3. ¿Verdad? Cuando vieron eh, dónde están los lugares. Ok. Yeah, that's, that's right. Those are prepositions. Ok, también sería, hablando de eso, behind, um, also from, ok, todas esas son prepositions, son un montón, ok. But the idea is, when you find a preposition, after a preposition, you use object pronouns. Así que ya vimos, se utilizan los object pronouns después de los verbos y después de las prepositions. Ahí estamos. Now, everybody, look at this. Give it or give them to. Karen Xiomara. Uh, Karen? Me pareció ahí que quería participar. Sí, teacher, una okay. pregunta. I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Eh, ¿Y es una regla o...? En este ejemplo, todas las preposiciones han quedado casi al final. No, no, es una, una coincidencia. <ríe> es una coincidencia, pero no, o sea, cuando se utiliza o se menciona una persona una cosa y usted va a utilizar un pronoun y va después de una preposición, tiene que ser un object pronoun. No necesariamente va a ir al final de la oración. Okay. Lo más común es que sí vaya ahí, pero no es absolutamente necesario. It's a coincidence. Es común. Ajá, es común. Es común. Les decía que eh, a veces a mí me preguntan. ¿Dónde me hago acá? Uy, cancelar. Mejor abro otra ventanita. Les comentaba. Híjole. Ahí está. Les comentaba que a veces me preguntan a mí. Teacher, ¿y cómo es? ¿Es you and I? ¿O es you and me? La respuesta es, ambas son posibles. Solo depende cómo las va a utilizar usted. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, you and I go to the same school. ¿Por qué decimos you and I? Porque aquí son subject pronouns. El subject pronoun you y el subject pronoun I van antes del verbo go. Si fuera you and me, no podría yo decir, no podría yo decir, you and me go to the same school. That is incorrect. Ahora yo podría decir, this party is for, ahí tenemos una preposition, Uy. for you and me. Eso estaría correcto, porque aquí you es el object pronoun, me es un object pronoun, y van después de esta preposición. Entonces, ambas formas son posibles, pero depende en qué lugar de la oración los esté utilizando. Si van como sujetos, tiene que ser you and I. Si van como objetos, es decir, después de un verbo o una preposición, tiene que ser you and me. Ahí para evitar cualquier confusión. Ok, let's take a look. Give it and give them two. Look at this. I need that book. Please give it to me. Give it to me. 
Aquí se cumplen las dos reglas. Give it to me. When I say it, what am I referring to? Cuando yo digo it, ¿a qué me refiero? The book. The book, correct. And when I say me, what am I talking about? I. I, correct. Give it to me. Aquí están dos object pronouns. Uno va después de un verbo y el otro después de una preposition. Las dos reglas se cumplen ahí. Give it to me. Necesito ese libro, por favor, dámelo. Okay, dame el libro. Give it to me. Now look. Rob Roberts, me fue con una S ahí, no tenía que ir la S. ¿Qué pasó? Uh oh. Ok. Just a moment. Ok, ahí está. Robert needs these books. Can you give. Ay, por hacerlo a la carrera. Can you, perdón, ahí está, corregido. Can you give them to him, please? Can you give them to him? When I say them, what am I talking about? They. Ah, but in the sentence. ¿A qué me refiero cuando digo them? In, this is the book. These books, okay. Can you give them to him, please? When I say him, what am I talking about? Or who am I talking about? I'm sorry? Me dicen por ahí, he. Pero Robert. ¿quién, es, ¿Quién es he? Robert, así es. Robert. Can you give them to him? Se los puede dar a él. Can you give them to him? Aquí se utilizan, ¿verdad? Aparece them, el object pronoun, después del verbo give, y aparece him, el object pronoun, después de la preposition to. Se cumplen ambas, ambas reglas ahí. We're going to do some exercises, okay? First, they're going to be very easy, then they're going to get a bit more difficult. Before we continue, do you have any questions? No questions. Okay. I have a question. Yeah, a what's question. your question? Yes, no question. Jose. I don't know if it is possible to say uh, like this sentence. I need the book. Please give it to me. But I don't know if I can say, give me the book. Yes. Give me the book is possible. It's the same. Yes. Give me the book. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say that. Thanks. Lo que sí no se puede decir es, give me it. Eso estaría incorrecto. Ajá, ahí sí ya no. Pero sí puede decir, give me the book. Ahí sí. Ok. Uh, complete the sentence with an object pronoun. Hmm. Aquí se me fue mal esto. Object pronouns. Sorry about that. Complete the sentences with an object pronoun. So you have this. I don't know those girls. Volunteer, please. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? No sé. Janet and then Hugo. I don't know those girls. Do you know them? Do you know them? That's correct. Thank you, Janet. Hugo, number two. I don't know. I don't know that me. That's man. That man. Mm -hmm. That man. Do you know me? No. That man. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Him. Mm -hmm. Correct. Do you know him? Correct. Thank you, Hugo. Jennifer Noemi, number okay. three, please. Sería. La otra iba a contestar, teacher, pero permita. Ok, ok. You can do it. Luego va Michelle, Ana Patricia, y José Aguilar. Ok. Them. Them. Ajá. But can you read the whole sentence, please? Eh, sería, I, I don't know those people. Do you know them? That is correct. Okay. I don't know those people. 
Do you know them? Okay, good. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, the next one, number four, Michelle. I don't know David, David White. Do you know her? Do you know? Her? Her. Se, se escucha un poquito. Yes, do you know her? Her, okay, do you know her? Okay, yeah, that's right. Thank you, Michelle. I don't know David's wife. Do you know her? Okay, thank you, Michelle. Ana Patricia, you're next, number five. Okay. I don't know Mr. Basket. Do you know him? Do you know him? Okay, correct. Do you know him? Great. Okay, uh, thank you. Karen Xiomara. I don't know Rosa's parents. Do you know them? Do you know them? Correct. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Jennifer Noemi, number seven. I don't know the woman in the black dress. Do you know her? Do you know her? Correct. Very good. Thank you, Jennifer. Number eight, who wants to try? Hiroki. Mm, this is idea. I don't know the answer. Do you know it? Do you know it? Correct. Very good. Do you know it? Thank you, Hiroki. Number nine, who wants to try? Number nine. Vamos, sin miedo. José Aguilar. Había desaparecido. I don't know the rules. Do you know it? I don't know the rules. Plural. Rules. Uh -huh. rules. So, I don't know the rules. Do you know? Do you know it? Mm -mm. It is singular. Plural? Them. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know them? Correct. So, no conozco las reglas. ¿Las conoces? ¿Tú las conoces? Do you know them? Okay. Thank you, Jose. Next exercise. Tema interesante. Veamos. Complete the sentences with subject pronouns or object pronouns. Aquí tienen que demostrarme que pueden distinguir entre los subject pronouns y los object pronouns. Acuérdense, si va antes del verbo es un subject pronoun, definitivamente. Si va después del verbo, después de una preposition, entonces es un object pronoun. There's an example. I want to see her. But she doesn't want to see me. Yo quiero verla a ella, pero ella no me quiere ver a mí. Está complicada esa relación. Okay, I want to see her, but she doesn't want to see me. Okay. Aquí vemos, subject pronoun, I, before the verb, I want to see. And then you have object pronoun her after the verb see. I want to see her, coma. But, y luego vamos, she, before the verb, doesn't want to see me, object pronoun, after the verb see. I want to see her, but she doesn't want to see me. What about number two? Let's try, Hugo. Me. Mm -hmm. Sería la do, la dos, ¿verdad? Yeah, number two. Say they don't want to see me, but the her. No. Look, they want to see me, but. Eh, sería she. Mm -mm. No. Sería me. Pero, 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 pero. Veamos, veamos. Ellos quieren verme, pero yo no los quiero ver a ellos. I. Ajá. But I. I don't want to see. They. They is a subject pronoun. You need to use an object pronoun. Ah. Uh, pero a ver, I don't want to <laughs> Ok. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Veamos. Si se fija, aquí me dice, they want to see me, but I don't want to see. 
yo no los quiero ver a ellos. Ellos me quieren ver a mí, pero yo no los quiero ver a ellos. Entonces, usted me dijo, they. Está uh -huh. bien la elección de persona, lo que no está bien es el tipo de pronoun, porque they es un subject pronoun, no puede ir después de un verbo. Tiene que utilizar un object pronoun. ¿Cuál es el object pronoun de they? No me acuerdo. No you forgot. Okay, no problem. I don't want to see them. them. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Okay. They want to see me, but I don't want to see them. Okay. Thank you, Hugo. Janet bueno. Jacqueline, number three, please. Hiroki, number four. Jennifer, number five. They want to see me, but, ah, perdón, she, well, no, yeah, ah, she, number three. <laughs> she wants, she wants to see him, but he doesn't want to see her. He doesn't want to see her. Okay. Ella lo quiere ver a él, pero él no la quiere ver a ella. Good. Thank you, Janet. Hiroki, number four, please. Okay. Um, we want to see them, but they don't want to see us. That is correct. Okay. We want to see them, but they don't want to see us. Thank you, Hiroki. That is correct. Jennifer Noemi, number five. He wants to see you. To see, sorry, he wants to see us. I'm uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, us. Want, he wants to see us. Mm -hmm. But uh, we doesn't. We don't. We, we don't want to see him. We don't want to see him. Correct. He wants to see us, but we don't want to see him. Thank you, Jennifer. That is correct. Michelle Díaz. Cordónanos de bajar la manita, porque si no se me acumula gente con mano levantada. Okay. Thank you. Michelle, number six. Michelle. Michelle. Ah, ahí medio le alcancé a oír la voz. Ajá. Uh, they want to see her, but she doesn't want to see them. They want to see her, but she doesn't want to see them. That is correct. Thank you, Michelle. Sandra Serrano, number seven, please. The microphone, please. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I want to see them. Pero ellos a mí no dicen. But they. In English. Let's, let's try in English. In English. But they. They don't want to see me. Correct. Okay. Good. I want to see them, but they don't want to see me. Thank you, Sandra. And number eight, Jennifer. That is correct, Sandra. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, you want to see her, but she doesn't want to see you. She doesn't want to see you. That's right. Thank you, Jennifer. That is correct. Very good. Okay. Good practice. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Sorry, por ahí escuché. Una voz. <ríe> Ana Patricia. Michelle, perdón, puede poner la, la hoja anterior. La diaposi la, diapositiva, la, anterior. diapositiva ah, anterior. Ah, veamos. Esta. Sí, sí. Esta. Ok. Yeah, ok. You're welcome. Ok. Complete the sentences with subject pronouns or object pronouns. Se complica un poco más la cosa porque aquí ya no hay... Tiene que saber si es subject o si es object. Ok. Ok, let's see. A bit more difficult. It's escalating. <laughs> Se vuelve un poquito más complejo ahora. Who wants to try number one? Aquí tiene que darme ya sea un subject pronoun o un object pronoun. 
Siempre recuerde, el subject pronoun va antes del verbo, salvo algunos casos como eh, el verb be en preguntas. Ya vamos a ver eso. Por ahí hay una. Number one, who wants to try? Michelle. Ya, ahora sí me escuchan. Yes. Sorry, no sé si es así, pero... Who is that woman? Why are you looking at she? At is a preposition. So you need to use uh -huh. an object pronoun. Uh -huh. We, why are you looking at her? Why are you looking at her? Correct. Because at is a preposition. That's correct. Thank you, Michelle. Caesar, number two. Do you know that man? Yes, I work with him. Yes, I work with him. That is correct. Thank you, Caesar. Hugo, number three, please. Uh, yeah, where, where the tickets mm -hmm. I can find? Seria use? Mm -mm. Sorry, uh, how do you say you find? Oh, find. 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 Uh -huh. Find. Encontrar. I can't okay. find. Eh, sería them. Them. Okay. Them. I can't find them. Correct. Okay. Where are the tickets? I can't find them. No puedo encontrarlos. I can't find them. Thank you. Hiroki. Number four. Okay, um, I can find my key. My keys. Keys, okay. Mm -hmm. I can find my keys, where are they? Where are they? Correct, okay, very good. Vaya, veamos acá, este es el verb be. Me digan, hey teacher, pero va después del verbo. Sí, pero esta es una pregunta con el verb be, ¿verdad? En este caso, acuérdese que con el verb be, cuando ustedes hacen una pregunta, el subject y el verb be cambian de lugar, nada más. Pero nada más, no cambia nada más que eso. Así que aquí sería, where are they? Subject pronoun. Very good. Ana Patricia, number five. We're going out. We're going out. Mm -hmm. You can call me with us. You can come with us. That is correct. Thank you, Ana Patricia. Very good. Jennifer Noemi, number six. Seria, my lights, lights music. Her plays the piano. Mm -mm. No, <laughs> she okay. plays the piano. She plays the piano because <laughs> it comes before the verb. Antes va, del verbo. Va antes del verbo, por lo tanto, subject pronoun. She plays the piano. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Correct answer. Number seven. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Raise your hand. Hiroki. Solo tengo una pregunta. Afraid yes. is... Afraid. Es miedo. Mm -hmm. Te lo tiene miedo. Afraid of. Oh, okay. This area, I don't like dogs. I am afraid of it. No, it's, them. them, aha, them. Because it's plural. Them, uh, yeah, uh -huh, dogs. I'm uh, afraid of them. Correct. Okay. I don't like dogs. I'm afraid of them. Okay. Me dan miedo. Thank you, Hiroki. Janet Jacqueline, number eight, please. I'm talking to you. Please listen to me. Please listen to me, okay? That is correct. Thank you, Janet. Michelle, number nine, please. Where is Anne? I want to talk to her. I want to talk to her. That is correct. Thank you, Michelle. And number 10. Who wants to try? Number 10. No sé si Janet quería participar o se le quedó la manita levantada. No sé. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Who wants to try number 10?
Jennifer. Más o menos le, le entendía ese Pero sería, eh, my brother has a new job. Uh -huh. eh, sería, Kim doesn't like. Um, wait, wait, wait. Again, my brother has a new job. Uh -huh. Y luego? Eh, him. Him. Uh -huh. Veamos, ¿va antes del verbo o después del verbo? Eh, después. Después. Sería... No, el verbo está acá, dice doesn't like. Así que esto es Ajá. antes del verbo. Entonces sería he. He. He doesn't like. He doesn't like. Eh, he doesn't like it. <risa> Very much. Uh -huh. He doesn't like it very much. Correct. Thank you, Jennifer. My brother has a new job. He doesn't like it very much. No le gusta mucho. Dice. He doesn't like it very much. Okay, good. One more exercise. Let's do this. Okay, complete the sentences. Follow the examples. The first one is an example. I need that book. Can you give it to me? Van a ocupar la misma fórmula para todos los demás. I need that book. Can you give it to me? What about number two? Raise your hand, please. Okay, uh, Hugo. He wants the... He was, sería he was, then K, the can key. You, the key, mm -hmm. the key, the key, can you give, give me? Can you give? Me? Mm -mm. Ah, no, 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 mm -hmm. sería Dean. Uh, again, sorry, can you give? Porque está hablando de él, o sea, él. O sea, él, él, sí. él, él quiere la llave, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, ¿se la puede dar? ¿Le puede dar la llave a él? Sería, can you give? Sería... Ya, olvido. Sería... Va a tener la voz. Se me olvidó, teacher. Ok, no problem. Uh, Michelle, maybe you can help us. And then Karen Xiomara. He wants the K. The can key. you... The key. He mm -hmm. was the key. Sorry. It's Can okay. you give it to him? Can you give it to him? Correct. Can you give it to him? Al decir it, nos referimos a the key. Al decir him, nos referimos a he. Okay. Thank you. Por ahí me quería participar alguien que bajó la manita. Karen. Sorry, quería participar. Sir. Okay, Karen. Do you want to... Take number three, and then let's see Jennifer number four, Ana Patricia number five, and Hiroki number six. Uh, and onwards, um, ver, no. verbo, el verbo? Uh, verb, ah, once, yeah, it's the verb. She wants okay, so the keys. Okay, she wants the keys. Mm -hmm. Can you give a... Here, um, we're talking about the keys. Can you give? Can you give? It's to here. Okay, but there is one thing. The keys, that's plural. We can't use it. Them. Aha. Uh Sería -huh. entonces, can you? Can you give to, to them? Uh, not exactly. No. Ah, veamos. Okay. Veamos, veamos. Ya casi lo teníamos ahí, ¿verdad? Can you give? Give. Las llaves. Can give. you give? No sería it, sí, sure. Mm -mm. It si solo fuera una llave, pero aquí son más, son dos llaves por lo menos. Ah, sería el plural. Ajá. Ahí no nada. Okay, no problem. No problem, no problem. But thanks for trying. 
Uh, Jennifer Noemi, maybe you can help us. Yes, Sharia, she wants the keys. Can mm -hmm. you eat to them? Uh -huh. Can you give them? Hasta ahí va bien. Eat to them? No. Mm, no. Can you give them? Them. Eat es el no es el correcto. Can you them? No sé, teacher. Can you? Okay. No problem. Let's see. Okay. Ana Patricia. I don't know, but I, I think she wants the keys. Mm -hmm. Can you give them to her? Can you give them to her? That is correct. Can you give them to her? Them refers to the keys. Her refers to the pronoun she. Okay, good. All right, Hiroki, number four. Okay. Uh, I need I need that letter. A letter. What is? Letter. Carta. Carta. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need that letter. Can you give give it to me? Can you give it to me? That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Uh, uh, Jennifer Noemi. Uh, they want the money. Can you uh, Seria eat to them? Eat to them? Can you give it to them? That is right. Can you give it to them? Así es. <laughs> the money is an uncountable noun. Por lo tanto, siempre se va a utilizar it. They want the money. Can you give it to them? That is good. Number <laughs> six. Thank you, Jennifer. Hiroki, number six. Oh, no sé si le quedó levantada la mano. No. Uh, okay, okay. Let's try. Number six. Uh, okay. We need the photograph. Uh, can you give uh, them to... Mm -hmm. Us. Can you give them to us? That is correct. Very Solo good. Pregunta. ¿Cómo Sigue. se pronuncia a uh, give? Como cuando va con el it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Mm -hmm. Give it. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Vaya. Y aquí me pedían ayuda hace un rato con el punto, el ejercicio 4.4, que es precisamente el knowledge check que tenemos acá. Es cabalito, el mismo ejercicio. Veamos. Aquí va. Complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. Aquí vamos a una combinación ya de todo lo que hemos visto en estos últimos dos días. O sea, ayer y ahora. Sí, ayer y ahora. Que estuvimos viendo a uh, question form, a present simple, and object pronouns. Entonces, ¿qué nos queda acá? You have the conversations. Complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. Who wants to help me with number one? I need two volunteers. Dos voluntarios acá. Elisa and Melissa. Okay. <laughs> Elisa and Melissa. Okay. Elisa, your letter A. Melissa, your letter B. Do you like science like fiction movies? Mm -hmm. Do you like science fiction movies? Tiene eco ahí, Elisa. <laughs> okay. Melissa? No, I, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't like them very mm -hmm. much. I don't like them very much. Yeah, that's right. Lo mismo aparece en la plataforma. Veamos. So, ah, aquí está. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande para que se vea mejor. Sería... Do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. Okay. I don't like them very much. Thank you, Elisa and Melissa. I need two volunteers for conversation two. 
Ana Patricia and Karen Xiomara. Does Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Jake and Lisa are two people. Si solo fuera Jake, sí sería das. O si solo fuera Lisa, sí sería das. Pero ahora tenemos Jake and Lisa, el equivalente de they. Así que no podemos usar das. Do. Uh -huh. Do Jake, do, do and, Jake Liz and Lisa like soap operas? Uh -huh. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Thank you. Karen Xiomara? I, no sé si es think, es la palabra. I think, I think. Think. Uh -huh. I think Jack. Jake. Jake. Doesn't? Um, doesn't tal vez not. no doesn't. No hay nada que nos indique que no le gusta. Tal vez sí le gusta. I think Jake. Um, don't, no es. No, let's see. I think Jake me dijo originalmente doesn't. Ajá, pero no hay... porque así me, así me apareció en la, en, el, en, la, en la hoja. ¿En la hoja? ¿En la plataforma? En, en, la, plas, en la plataforma. Mm, pero no es das, no es doesn't, es das, de hecho. I think Jake, sorry, does. Ah, vaya, es, ajá, esa fue la Quiero ver, ver quiero ver, das. quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. <risa> Me fui yo en la chicahuita, vamos a ver. Acabo de resolver esto. Estaba confuso, teacher, Do. pero sí. Bastante Solo confuso. Yes. Yo tuve muchos problemas en la última. Yo probé con das y no. I don't know about Lisa. Ajá, uh -huh. I don't know bueno, about Lisa. Qué raro. Yo también me fui mal no, ahí porque no. cuando yo contesté también contesté doesn't. No <laughs> tiene lógica, pero... Uh, pero... I think Jake does. Es la única, es la única respuesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. I think Jake, I think Jake does. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? I think Jake uh -huh. does, but I don't know about Lisa. Podría ser cualquiera de las dos, solamente que a mí me sonaría más lógico decir I think Jake does, como decir, yo creo que a Jake sí, ¿verdad? pero no sé, no sé Lisa. Pero dasen aparentemente, y así lo contesté yo también aparte. Pero bueno, <risa> yo solo me contradije ahí. I'm sorry. I think Jake doesn't. Todavía <risa> pienso que sería mejor das, pero bueno. I think Jake doesn't, but I don't know about Lisa. Ok, well, Lisa, so uh, Karen, well, Lisa. Friend, did you... At a here. Mm -hmm. Why don't you ask her? Okay. Her. Tenemos. Why don't you ask her? Okay. So thank okay. you, Karen. Okay. Okay. Uh, number three. I need two volunteers. Michelle and Brenda. Uh, what king? of music what kind? Noriko. what kind ah, <laughs> sorry. what kind of music do Noriko and Etan do Noriko and Ethan like mm -hmm. and then Brenda ¿Qué se hizo Brenda la misma <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Letter B, Brenda, if you help me read it. They love? Um, the, they love classical music. Noriko really likes Yo-Yo Ma. <laughs> Yo-Yo Ma. Este yo -yo. señor. Okay, Yo-Yo Ma. A ser medio Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo Ma. Uh -huh. So um, let's see, Michelle? Letter A, and then Brenda, letter B. Michelle? The microphone. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Does he play? Does he play? Falta una palabra ahí. One word is missing. Does, does he um, it's an information question. 
What does What does he play or oh, what instrument does he play? Puede ser también. It's optional. You don't have to say instrument. You say what does he play or what do, what instrument does he play? Thank you Michelle and Brenda the cello. Um, es en la que me dio problema más, teacher. Ajá. The cello. I have his new CD. Let's listen to... I don't know. Damn. It. No, let's listen to it. Okay. It. Mm -hmm. Porque estamos hablando del CD. Let's listen Ay. to it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Vaya, veamos. Me decían, no es exactamente igual, ¿verdad? Pero, what kind of music? Do Noriko and Ethan like? What does he play? The cello. I have his new CD. Let's listen to it. Y luego está este. Okay. After, let's listen to Andrea Bocelli. I love... Mm -hmm. Him. is the best. He's the best. Submit. All correct. Por ahí vi que estaban teniendo un poquito de dificultad. Tengan cuidado siempre con... Eh, los apóstrofes, porque alcancé a ver en las imágenes que estaban compartiendo en el grupo que me ponen, por ejemplo, eh, quiero ver esto o esto. Entonces, a simple vista parece correcto. Lo único que esta es una tilde, no es un apóstrofe. Para evitar eso, presionen la tecla que está a la derecha del cero en los números que están en la parte de arriba, ¿verdad? Todos uno seguido del otro. Ese, si ustedes tienen el teclado en español, ese va a ser el apóstrofe. Don't. It doesn't. En caso que no fuera, probablemente sea el que está a la par de la N, si lo tienen configurado en inglés. Por ejemplo, si tienen una laptop que esté en inglés. Creo yo, no estoy seguro porque no lo tengo así. Quiero ver si lo cambio. No, aquí solo español tengo. <ríe> Sorry. Um, tendrían que probar ahí. Pero sí tengan cuidado de no poner tildes en vez de apóstrofes, porque eso se los va a tomar mal. Hugo. Una pregunta. Dice, yes. why don't you ask ahí cuál era? Why don't you ¿Sí? ask her? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. uh. Why don't you ask her? ¿Por qué no le preguntas? Dice, why don't you ask her? Thank okay. You. You're welcome. I'm Thank going to call attendance. <laughs> ¿Cómo le pregunta a ella? No me estás preguntando a mí. Le dice, fuchica, sí, se oye pesado. Ah, depende cómo se lo diga, ¿verdad? Digamos, aquí le dice, Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? I think Jake doesn't, but I don't know about Lisa. Or Jake does, podría ser ahí también, como decíamos hace ratos. Why don't you ask her? No le preguntas a ella. Sí, se escucha un poquito fuerte. Ok. I'm going to call attendance by aquellos que no me contestaron al principio. Benjamín. No sé si Benjamín está conectado. I'm here. Yes. Thank you. It is Janet. Oh, yeah. Present teacher. Thank you. Uy. Permítanme. It is Janet. Ok. Hiroki, ya vi que aquí está. Janet Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. José Francisco Aguilar. José Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Karina Yasmin. Aquí Present David. teacher. Thank you. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Luz, vamos a buscar la cama nuevamente. Luz Virginia, Luz Virginia, no la veo, creo que no está. Okay. Uh, Melissa, ya vimos que aquí está. Pamela. Pamela Lisbeth. Presente. Thank you. Sandra Maritza. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús. Teresa de Jesús. Not here. Ok. Bueno, entonces tomo la asistencia. Ok. All right. Uh, we're going to finish here. 
uh, tomorrow we will continue with uh, the pronunciation, intonation and questions. And then we're going to do a listening part. And also we're going to cover the midterm. Okay. Una clase muy importante, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver lo que resta de la unidad y vamos a cubrir el midterm. No vamos a explicar prácticamente. Lo tienen que resolver ustedes. Pero vamos a darle una explicadita para que nadie se vaya con dudas. Okay, everybody. I need to finish this class. It's nine o'clock. So see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.